The answer is no, I did not clickbait you. This is actually checkmate in 130 moves for white. It's white to play and win, despite the fact that black has 27 points worth of material. You've got two rooks for 10, the three pieces are nine, and then eight pawns, 27 points of material against the lone queen, and it is still a forced checkmate for white, which by the way, Stockfish doesn't see because it's too far out. It's just so far that even Stockfish at max depth and you let it sit and analyze forever, you just can't see it. 130 moves is too long. So shout out to Michael. He also sent me another puzzle that I've used on this channel and he sent me this one as well. This is the first time that I had seen it myself and I've got to say it's pretty fascinating. I didn't realize that something like this could actually exist. So if you're excited to get into this, let's get started. All right, so before I show you the solution, if you'd like to pause and think through, don't try to think through 130 moves, but if you want to try to think through what's the idea behind how white can win from this position, just kind of the, the general plan going forward, and then we can see if you're right as we go through the position. All right, so if you've had a chance to do that, let's go ahead and talk about what's going on here. First of all, even though black has so many pieces, they're not ideally placed. You can see this rook in the corner can't even move, right? The knights are on the edge of the board, which is usually not great. A lot of the pawns can't even move. The bishop, okay, you might say that's a decent piece for black. And then this rook is really uh, doing a nice job and it's actually defending black's king. If you'll notice, there's a couple of different threats here that white has. This one is checkmate immediately. So the rook kind of has to stay there and guard black's king. Now that being said, uh, how do we actually make progress as white? Well, the first move in this position is queen to d1 check. Now, we're gonna notice a, a series of interesting queen checks here. I and mean, obviously it has to be queen checks, right? It's the only piece we have. But you're gonna see there's actually a point behind every move in this 130 move study. So let's go ahead and take a look. The rook has to block, only legal move. We go back here and you might say, didn't we just repeat? No, 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 the queen was on d4 and now it's on d3, which is attacking the knight. Okay, so we threw in that little check just so that we can pick off the knight. And again, black has to continue to just kind of do the same deal. Okay, and here we go again. And the reason we're going over here to d2, and by the way, we're threatening checkmate, so black has to continue to, to block. And if they block with the bishop, I should just mention that just loses immediately. Queen to c3, and we're coming in here for the checkmate. So that's not an option. It has to be with the rook. And now we go check on e1. So we wanted to reposition the queen there so that we can go to e1 because you can probably figure this one out. Again, we're forking this, the king and the knight, right? And so we're basically eliminating the two knights. Okay, great. So we've got those taken care of. Now let's continue. Again, we go check. Again, we come down here and we're doing this little dance because we want to get this position right here. This is the only way that we could have gotten this position. And now we play, actually, before I tell you, if you'd like to pause, what move do we play here? And what's the idea behind this move? And this is kind of the, the key to this whole position. Once you understand this idea, the rest of the solution actually makes a lot of sense. Well, if you had a chance to look at that, the move that we're going to play is queen to e4. And this is what we call a waiting move. We're putting black in Tsuxuang where they have to make a move that they don't want to make. So let's first of all, uh, we're keeping the pin, which means the rook cannot move. The king could move here, but then that's just checkmate immediately. So that doesn't make sense. The bishop can move, but what you'll notice is that any bishop move is actually losing. So let's just take a random one just to show the, the idea. We come down with check. The rook has to block. We come up here. We're threatening checkmate again on d2. So the rook has to block. And we simply play check and checkmate. All right. So the, the bishop, when it was sitting there, was guarding the square. That was the key thing that the bishop was doing. And so anywhere else that we move the bishop to, it's going to lead to um, a loss. And also, if you move it here, same exact thing is going to happen. Check. You come here, threatening this. Check and checkmate. OK, so that's kind of the idea beyond why black can't move the bishop. So if you can't move the rook because it's stuck, you can't move the king because you get checkmated. You can't move the rook because it's pinned. You can't move the bishop because you get checkmated. The only thing left to move are the pawns. And so that's what black does. And now we have to do this crazy maneuver because we need our queen to be exactly here. If our queen isn't exactly on this square when we do this, it's not going to work out the same. So what do we have to do? We have to do the same maneuver. Check, 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 check. And then boom, we hit 
hit them with queen e4 again. Same kind of thing. It's black's turn. They don't really want to move, but they have to. So they push a pawn. And now you're going to see a whole bunch of repeating. Right? This is a, what is this? A one, two, three, four, five, a six move sequence that we just repeat over and over again. So that black keeps pushing the pawns. Okay? And we keep doing it and we keep doing it. And we keep doing it, and black has to keep on pushing the pawns. All right, let's keep going. I think you're getting the idea. And this is really the key, and this is why the study is so long, right? Why it's 130 move checkmate, because of all these maneuvers with the pawn moves. And by the way, this might be a good time for me to mention, the 50 move rule resets after a pawn is moved. So there's no 50 move rule because the pawns are moving. All right, so here we go. And... We're going to keep doing this until we take all of black's pawns we're on move 88 but if you're wondering keep going keep going almost there almost there okay my finger's getting a little bit tired i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep going all right here we go we're getting to the end okay queen e4 here we go one more time and we finally take the queen now we are on move 124, which means there's checkmate in six moves. So now, finally, if you would like, you can pause and actually try to calculate the winning idea from here. All right, if you had a chance to do that, there's a couple ways you could do it, but the fastest is queen to h7 check. And by the way, this was not a, a move that would have been possible before because there were all of the pawns in the way. But since we've eliminated those, we can play queen h7 check followed by queen to e4 yet again. And if you remember, uh, the last time we did this, black always would have to push a pawn. Well, now there's no more pawn moves. The rook is pinned. The king doesn't want to move because of checkmate, which means black has to make a bishop move. And you remember the bishop was guarding that crucial square. So it doesn't matter wherever it moves to, we can deliver the checkmate. We come down here with check. The, the rook has to block. We come here threatening checkmate here. Black has to block, and we simply go check, checkmate, because the bishop was no longer guarding it. 130 moves, checkmate, white wins, and it was all forced. Wow. Wow. Um, so uh, I, hopefully this is very helpful to you guys. Next time you're playing a game and you find yourself in this position, I want you to remember this technique, okay? This is very crucial very common technique. Okay, I'm kidding. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun. Thank you, Michael, again, for sending it to me. Fantastic position. And um, remember, courses are on sale 50% off. That's the largest sale that I've ever done on my courses. So make sure you take advantage of that. But having said that, stay sharp, play smart, and take care.